In this next group of videos, we're going to look at pivot tables. And in regard to pivot tables, we're going to look at how pivot tables are filtered. We're going to look at creating a chart based upon a pivot table. And also this new concept of slices. So let's begin by opening up the file that we're going to be using for this lesson or group of lessons. Let's go to week 9 and then down to the folder called Excel Files. Open that up. And the file that we're going to be using is called Slices. Once again, the file that we're going to be using is called Slices. So let's go and open up that file. After opening up our file, once again it's called Slices, we want to check the file and its layout. In order for a pivot table to work, you have to be dealing with a table. And the key element of a table is that top row, the header row, which in data database talk is referred to as fields. And what fields do, or field names, is that they describe the information beneath them. So we have the various rows beneath that top row or, or header row. And those rows are referred to as records. The key element, top row, headers or field names, and then you have the rows beneath. Now to quickly get an idea of how big our table is, what we can do is hit control end. Brings us down to the end of our table. And what we can see is that we have a table that is 2,000 rows. The actual first row uh, standing for our field names. So we have a fairly good sized table, 2,000 records. Control Home will take us up to the top. Now the steps to create a pivot table, and what I re recommend strongly, is always to take that table and turn it into an Excel table. How you do that, you want to be somewhere within the table. I usually begin beneath my field names or headers. I click within a cell click on insert and then click on table click OK once again my table has headers you have to have headers or field names click OK we know we've turned it into a table an Excel table because of these down arrows over here I want to rename my table to data and all I have to do here is underneath table name, click in here, and we're going to type in data. So we just renamed our table. Let's rename our sheet to data. So it's easy to find. Once again, we have a sheet that contains an Excel table by the name of data. Now, the, the reason why I always turn it into a uh, table is that it's much easier to update my pivot table. Once again, a table is dynamic, so if there's new rows being added to that table, my Excel pivot table will also be updated. So it's a good first step always to turn that table into an Excel table. Next step, click on insert, click on pivot table. You can see where Excel has already picked up the fact that we have an existing table called data. Click OK. And we now have the beginnings of our first pivot table. The key components being 
right here in this box here. These are our field names. We can drag and drop those field names into four boxes. For reports, your column labels, your row labels, and your values. This box here for values is where we make our various computations, adding, summing, counting. So here's our problem. Our boss has come to us and he's asked us to determine our sales by region, by customer, and by date. And the boss has also asked that we show a chart associated with sales by region, customer, and by date. So let's begin by looking at the sales by region. Here's our field name, call region. We're going to drag it, drag it down and drop it into our row labels. We're then going to take our sales and drop it off into our values box. First shot. And looking at this, it needs some formatting. And I'm going to start off by taking the sum of sales and I'm going to click somewhere within here in this sum of sales. Click in here, right click, and next what we're going to do is we're going to format it by coming down to number format. Click on it. over to currency and click OK. Okay, we've formatted now all of this information. Next, I want to change this where it's showing right now as row labels. I want to actually show my field name, you know, what this information stands for. So I want to show my field name. And how I go about that by clicking on design, report layout, down arrow, show in tabular form. Click on it. So once again, we've got our field name, so we know that this information stands for region, and we have our sales. Now, this is kind of ugly here we're saying sum of sales. I want to change that to show sales. Click OK. But all of a sudden I get this error message that's saying the pivot table field already exists, which it does. It has to be a unique name. So I click OK. And how you get around that is we type in the sales, then hit the space bar once. Now hit enter. And what we see is it has been changed, sales, and it's also showing here. The next thing I want to do is I want to go up and name that pivot table. Okay, so we have a pivot table right here. It's showing the sales by region. But I want to assign a name to that pivot table. So how we do that is by clicking on options, pivot table name. And we're going to name this pivot table region. Next, I want to do a little bit of formatting here. So I've just renamed my pivot table to region. I want to do some formatting, so I'm going to click on options, click on options again, 
and we're saying layout and form I want to click here this auto fit column which on update I want to get rid of that so I clicked over here it's no longer checked click OK and I want to rename this sheet region so what we've done is we've renamed our pivot table and also renamed the sheet name now if I were to click in here all of a sudden my grids for the pivot table disappears in order for it to show again click inside of the pivot table so once again it's now all appearing let's quickly filter the pivot table if I wanted to do it by region I could click the arrow here click on select all and let's say I only wanted to show the sales for north and northeast I click them both off and what's showing now are the sales for north and northeast let's clear that filter and let's create a very quick chart for sales by region now what you could do is go up here click on options and then click on pivot chart and choose the pivot chart that you're looking for or I'm going to do a shortcut and I'm going to create the default chart for the pivot table which is usually a column chart how I do that holding down alt F1 Alt F1 once again Alt F1 is a shortcut to give me my default chart I'm gonna get rid of that I want to get a name for my chart so I can click within here and I could type in region or come up here equal click here on the header region hit enter what we're going to do next is we're going to create a few new sheets click here click here and let's go back to our pivot table okay we have our chart here for regions it's showing all the regions and a little while ago we talked about the idea of a dynamic chart and a dynamic chart means that it changes with the filtering let me show you what I mean let's come over to region click here let's filter it to show only the north and the northeast click OK it's filtered over here but more importantly it's being filtered right on your chart itself it's very powerful come back here add in the southeast it's changed over here it's also changed on your chart now next group of videos we're going to look at creating a pivot table for customers and date and also create slices but before we do that let's go back and clear our filters